The Indian Air Force is actively developing a space-based battle management system that will be able to track mobile targets in any airspace. Tardid Technologies has launched its Meghlan Autonomous Unmanned Surface Vessel that is equipped with advanced artificial intelligence capabilities for maritime surveillance. The Indian Institute of Technology in Doha has successfully delivered the first 10 pairs of its Trebo electric nano generator shoes to the DRDO that can generate electricity with every step and incorporate advanced features such as real-time location tracking. According to a media report, the German Type 214 submarine performed better than Spanish S-80 plus submarine in the recently conducted Indian Navy trials for Project 75I. Small Arms Factory, a unit of Ordnance Factory Kanpur, has received an order for 2,000 medium machine guns from an European country, and various European companies have also shown keen interest in the acquisition of these guns. DRDO has unveiled a new CBRN variant of the second generation WAP with amphibious capabilities, that features compact design, weight reduction, optimized 600 horsepower diesel engine for high altitude operations, and enhanced protection measures. Scientists from the Council of Scientific and Industrial Research have successfully created a battery that operates efficiently in sub-zero temperatures, which holds immense potential for the armed forces. The Super Shukhoi upgrade of initial batch of 84 Su-30 will propel the level of indigenous content in the aircraft to a noteworthy 71%, along with bringing the supply chain under greater domestic control, to reduce downtime and maximize aircraft availability. Saab India has expressed its capability to meet the Indian Air Force's anticipated high production demands for the Gripen E fighter jet, if awarded the 114 MRFA tender. The Indian Air Force is looking for a production rate of at least 18 aircraft per year from the winning bidder, that would allow for a substantial ramp up of the fighter jet fleet within the next six to seven years. Saab India has said that its facility in Sweden has the capacity to produce between 20 to 25 Gripen annually, and this claim is significant considering the global supply chain disruptions currently affecting the aerospace industry. The Indian Air Force and the DRDO held a high-level meeting, in which the timeline for the Tejas Mark II program was a central focus. The rollout of the first Tejas Mark II is now scheduled post-August 2025, and it will conduct its first flight by March 2026. That will be followed by nearly three years of intensive developmental flight testing. The Tejas Mark II is expected to achieve initial operational clearance by the end of 2029, paving the way for production commencement in 2030, and deliveries from 2032 onwards. The Tejas Mark II prototype has been delayed by approximately a year, and this timeline slippage has happened due to the delay in the release of the approved funds, as it was tied to the signing of the F-414 engine deal with the US. The Indian Air Force will procure 120 Tejas Mark II in the initial phase, that will increase to 180 units by 2035. Germany's Dysencrip Marine Systems and Spain's Navantia both demonstrated available technologies during Project 75I trials, and the Indian Navy has conveyed some shortcomings in the Spanish offering. Navantia showcased the components of its AIP system, as well as an operational AIP that has not yet been integrated onto the S-80 submarine, and even charged the batteries of an operational submarine with its land-based AIP system, and then undertook dives for the test process. While on the other hand, the German Type 214 submarine successfully demonstrated its stealth capabilities as required, but the fuel cells on the demonstrated AIP system are not the ones that have been offered to the Indian Navy. Today's Top 3 Comments